This video is sponsored by Waterlocks, and Waterlocks is the original finish on both this coffee table and this piece of Purple Heart furniture. And the plan today is to just freshen up this piece of furniture a little bit with one or two more new coats of finish. But before I get started on that, I want to talk about just kind of an idea for building fine furniture. So this is a coffee table that I designed and built in 1996. And I'd love to build another one, but I really don't need a new coffee table. So if you'd like to see me build this, let me know in the comments and also let me know what wood you would like me to build it in, either walnut or sapelic. And I'll use that, if, if there's enough engagement, if there's enough interest, I'll use that to talk to a sponsor. And if I can get a sponsor behind the build, then I can build the project. And it would be a pretty uh, in-depth project, probably two parts, one on building and one on finishing. I would have drawings and a cut list on my website with the project. So again, let me know if you'd like to see that happen. We'll see how that, if I, if I get to build it, that would be really cool. I'd really like to start building fine furniture again. As far as this piece of furniture, I built this in 1999 and I made one, one major mistake. I went through the leg with a hollow mortising chisel. So I gave this piece to my parents and I was visiting them recently and I just felt like it, it just needed a little freshening up. So I'm going to lightly sand it and give it one or two more coats of finish. To get started, I'll remove the drawer and I made this drawer with mahogany sides and half blind dovetail joints. The drawer pull is rosewood and it's mortised into the drawer front. There's no fastener behind the drawer front. The drawer stop is purple heart and it's a little bit heavier than an eighth of an inch and it's attached without fasteners. It's just glued and clamped in place and that catches the bottom of the drawer front keeping the front nice and flush. This is where I mortised through the front of the leg and it's really not that noticeable, but it, it is a mistake. And uh, you can see I ended up just fixing it with a square peg. Okay, well I just finished sanding the whole piece of furniture with 320 grit sandpaper, just sanding it lightly. Then I brought the piece upstairs into the art studio and vacuumed off most of the dust. Any of the dust that I missed, then I use a clean dry paper towel and go over the whole piece. The next step is to apply the finish. I'm using a cotton rag to apply the finish. This is just an old t-shirt. A foam brush works good too, especially for the tight spots. And you notice that I'm working on the bottom of the piece of furniture first. And I'm always trying to rub the finish in the direction of the grain. Okay, so next I'll just let this finish set up overnight and then I'll apply one or two more coats over the next few days, maybe three or four more coats on the top. I always like to give the top a little bit more protection and then I'll let the finish cure for about five or six days and rub the finish out with 4-0 steel wool and a product called Wool Lube. I'll put a picture of the can of Wool Lube on my website if you want to know more about that. I've been doing the same thing to my coffee table, just bringing the wood grain back to life and it really just pops the grain water locks. Anytime I'm building what I consider fine furniture, furniture that focuses on joinery, wood selection and design, 
I use water locks. I've been using it now for more than 20 years and it, that um, finish, the original water locks has been around for more than 100 years. So I feel very comfortable telling you about it. If you want to know more about water locks, click on the link in the description and that will take you right to their website. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.